Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and who has donated to my channel. Also, thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me. So, um, and this is for the sign of Virgo for the month of October or from the time that you view this video. Please keep in mind that some months they may resonate with you and other months they may not. This is because there are many people watching and these messages are only for a specific few of you. All right. So um, this is, uh, a, you know, uh, for those of you who are interested in um, your ex, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, is there a chance of a reconciliation here? So let's begin. I feel that your ex, um, I feel they may feel deceived or tricked, whoever this is for. Um, they are still emotionally stuck in the past. Um, it's like they can't get over the deception is what I'm picking up because there was a third party and I do feel that it was the, uh, the earth sign, so uh, the Virgo, because you appear in reverse. Um, the five of swords would indicate that this was a relationship that was struggling. Um, it may have had some good moments, but then back to arguing, fighting again. I think that in the home, things were, um, you know, often not as they appeared. So, um, here we have the, the Squire of Love, and this is a card of um, secrets, secret love affairs, secret secret messages being passed back and forth. Your ex may have come across these messages, uh, or it was simply um, they discovered the affair, okay? I feel that... Um, they felt that you took advantage of them. They may have felt at this point that um, your words and promises were empty, you know. Um, there could have been a fire sign involved here. It could have been any sign, but I do have a lot of fire and water here, okay? So they may have had both of those in their charts. Here we have the Squire of Wisdom, and he is in the reverse. This person is not loyal. This person is, you know, a bit of a manipulator. Um, they would not have committed to the relationship. Um... Ramon de Trancabel is in the reverse, which again confirms that um, there was no um, no loyalty here, um, lack of commitment. Um, the ex may have felt that things were just out of his control. He had, you know, no way to fix things. Um, here, this would be a card of... Um, carrying somebody who's carrying a lot of problems on their shoulders, increasing problems. The Lady of Love and sitting next to the Squire in reverse, which is our Earth sign, uh, we have the Lady of Love next to that. Both of these people are unfaithful. So, um... I feel once again that, you know, I feel that this was you, Virgo, who stepped outside of the relationship or who was messaging, sending secret messages, love messages, perhaps. Um, and, you know, the partner, the ex, is 
reflecting on this and they are grieving over the loss here. The um, Three of Shields in the reverse speaks to distrust. It speaks to somebody um, who has hidden motives. Now this person, your ex, is is thinking about all of this, grieving over this. This is how he's feeling like uh, like, you know, you had hidden motives or perhaps you were in a relationship for some other reason. And this is like this clarity that that was brought to light or this affair um, is what put him in that position there, trying to heal. I feel that... Um, he is still grieving uh, this loss with the Ten of Swords, feeling betrayed. Uh, he's definitely in a, a very dark uh, place here, um, perhaps um, depression even. But both of these cards speak to somebody who is, who is grieving a loss and um, you know, it, it could have been um, maybe in that relationship, um, you know, maybe one minute you were hot and the next minute cold, because this would speak to somebody who blows hot, blows cold, um, somebody very impulsive, perhaps. Um, there may have been, this could have been the actual breakup that he's thinking of because it's a very, very challenging energy and and you can see that knight is uh, ready to drive his sword through that person. So, and, and these this is what is in his thoughts. So there may have been some sort of um, confrontation here. Um, your ex does not sleep well at night. They've got a lot of fears. Um, there was a lot of arguing in the home. And it's like I said earlier, things were not as they appeared. Somebody was not partaking of that cup over that table. Okay? When the family, you see the family sitting down to dinner and the cup uh, lit up but you see that there's one person here who is not um, who is not looking towards that cup. They're looking away. So they are not partaking of that cup there or not interested. And you have it in the reverse. So um, a lot of uh, conflicts, a lot of arguing. Um, feeling perhaps this person took advantage of you, um, of him. So, a lot of fears, a lot of uh, his emotions are just like all over the place. Somebody may have chosen, um, you may have chosen somebody over him, or at least this is what he's thinking about or his emotions are all over the place because of a decision that you took I feel that he um, he has his guard up I feel um, but again, he's he's got the raven here, which speaks to um, darkness that looms on the horizon. Um, and with this Ten of Swords, it's kind of reminding me of the same type of energy. Uh, grieving an ending, um, having that dead-end feeling with regards to a relationship. You know, and the raven for me would indicate 
uh, um, bad news, the red eyes, uh, we're looking at deception here, and uh, sitting on top of that skull. So this could have simply been the news of an ending. So at the bottom of this deck we have the uh, King of Cups and this is a rejection. So right now I, I don't feel that um, that your ex is even ready to communicate with you because um, he is still very emotional about what happened over here with this squire of love and this squire of wisdom. So that is what I have for you Virgo and um, I hope that this has um, you know um, given you some insight into what is going on uh, with regards to how your ex is feeling. Many blessings. Bye for now.